Hilary Duff's second album, Fly, is one of my favorite albums. Uh, growing up, Hilary Duff was my role model. I used to watch her show on Disney Channel, Liz McGuire, and I had her first album, Metamorphosis. I still remember the day when my mom and I went to Walmart with my sole purpose of getting her second album. We went home, and I remember sitting there in the living room, listening to the album for the first time. I was only 10 years old, but I remember it being different. I remember being able to tell it was different. She ha the songs have a soft rock pop sound that are catchy and, and distinct from anything else I'd ever heard. The lyrics are deep and sometimes it's scary meaning. They're not a bunch of love songs and breakup songs that you normally hear. They're more about teaching you self-discovery. Some of my favorite songs off the album are Dangerous to Know, Who's That Girl, and Underneath This Smile. I love that song, Who's That Girl. Who's That Girl is a song that's talking about someone replacing her. And I can't tell by listening to the lyrics if she means that someone else is taking her over her life and her friends, or if she's actually talking about herself changing into somebody she doesn't want to be. You know, looking back on those on on that music, I think they were teaching me positive self-image and strength. And one good song from that album is Girl Can Rock, which is basically a song that tells girls that they can do anything a guy can do. Maybe we can even do it better. Nowadays, I have fond memories when I hear those songs. I remember being with my best friend listening to the album on repeat or being in my room singing and dancing alone. I still regard the album very highly for its beautiful lyrics. And I can understand and appreciate them more now than I could when I was young. And it inspires me to want to create something that's just as beautiful.